point. Imagine that she was dangling the carrot of the $10,000 we gave back in student loan debt forgiveness, yeah. that those people are going to have bank accounts. Yeah. And those people that got that free money are going to take that free money out of your bank account. Like That was the immediate thing that she dangled, which lets you know some of the incentive involved in giving student loan yeah. debt. It's not really that we want to help these people. It's that now we will have influence over those people for voting. Oh, it, this was clearly like just throwing a carrot like pre midterm. Right. So how about only 10,000? How about all of it? Right. If you're going to really absolve student loan debt, if someone's $700,000 in the hole or whatever, what's like worst case scenario? If someone goes to med school, oh, someone yeah, gets a if they PhD, do all of that, probably three, four hundred at least. Yeah. Probably. And then it compounds with interest mm -hmm. over the decades. Like I was reading the story about this woman who took out $150,000 in student loans and she hasn't been able to pay them back. And now she's 250000 in the hole. Yeah. Jeez. And they're the most vicious type of loans, too. Of course. Like, it's easier to get out of credit card debt. You know, it's, oh, you, you it's can't even get out through bankruptcy. Out. Yeah. yeah. People are having their social security docked. People who've made it to the end of life. They're, they're re re relying on government assistance, right? It's essentially government assistance that we pay for. And they're getting that docked to pay for student loan debt. Yeah, it's such a, it's such a fucked up system. Like, I'm completely against student loan debt just I, I uh, um you know forgiving the debt just because i think it's like it's it's just you're just punishing the taxpayers for the the debt of um in many cases a more privileged group it's like the, the people who didn't go to college now have to bail out the people who did you know but man it is such a fucked up system that they trap these 18 year old kids it's into ruthless. signing up for, and that no one at the colleges even like the fact, I mean, obviously the politicians are like soulless and the bankers are just trying to make money, but that none of, no one in the university ever has the, the basic human decency to look at one of these kids who goes, hey, you know, you're spending 150 grand on a gender studies major. Just think about that. Think about whether or not this is really a good idea. They just go, oh, OK, we'll take the money. Well, all no they're problem. hoping is they're going to get a job in a university. Right. If it's you, a Ponzi scheme, basically. Yeah. You'll teach this to other people until no one's signing up for this anymore. <laughs> you'll, you'll learn useless shit that isn't even true. And then you'll teach it to other people who want to use, learn this useless shit to teach it to other people. And let's just hope we keep getting new investors into this thing until it all goes belly up. And what's really wild is then most, especially tech companies, they're so progressive and so liberal. And they're kind of trapped in that ideology, which can hamper what they want to do and what they're what they're allowed to do with their company because you get activists who are employees so your employees become and they go straight from universities where they're indoctrinated into this ideology and then they permeate these tech companies and some of them are fucked and yeah. some of some of them are realizing it and they're pushing back and they go that, 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 stop 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 you guys are killing our stock you're fucking up the business like it's a it's a giant loss in terms of like whether or not it's good for the overall company, it's a giant loss for some of them. Like Netflix. Yeah. Netflix took a giant hit after all that Ch Chappelle shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Well, I mean, it just and, – and if you think about like with the tech censorship stuff, uh, um, if you think about like in like 2014, 2015, this basically didn't exist. And this isn't that long ago that y you kind of could say whatever you wanted to. Yeah, I'll have a little bit. Thank you. You could say whatever you wanted to on, on Twitter. More or less. I mean, I remember, like, really wild people saying crazy shit on Twitter. And there was never even a thought, like, oh, you're going to get kicked off for saying right. this. It was just like, that's it's the internet. That's Twitter. That's Twitter. Yeah. YouTube. You could say Twitter what you wanted to. Twitter has hardcore porn. Well, that's the other thing that's very weird about what is, is allowed and what's not allowed. Which I'm for. I don't think – I'm not saying that they should censor hardcore porn. If you want to follow a porn star and they want to post pictures of them fucking and videos of them fucking. Yeah, I don't care. Who cares? Well, I just, I also, yeah, I'm completely against any of the censorship. I think it's an awful slippery slope it's to go down. It's a giant slippery and slope, and it shouldn't be navigated by people who are, again, indoctrinated into this system that they get straight out of universities, and they're they're locked into these progressive ideas. Yeah, but the other, I, I agree with all that, but I mean, th so the point I was just making is when you talk about, like, the bottom line. So you could see why, originally, back then, why they weren't kicking people off of their platforms is because, like, well, there's no incentive for them to kick people off the platform. The whole point is they want people to be on their platform. There'd certainly be no incentive to kick, like, really popular people off of their platform. Right. That's, what, that's how they get people in, uh, onto their platform. And it is, there is a lot of truth to the fact that a lot of these kids coming out of the universities, 
came in with this woke ideology, but there was also like tremendous pressure from the top coming down. So like what really, really sparked all of it was in 2016 once Trump won. Mm. And then Congress hauled all the heads of the, uh, the, the big tech companies in front of Congress.